this is a disaster. I have to film for my spy series and I have no idea what to wear. Oh no, one of my studio lights just fell over and broke. Ugh. My lighting is gonna look terrible now. Bree, come on, it's almost time to film. Coming. Oh, I gotta think of something and quick. Wait, I have an idea. Ooh, I really love these outfit ideas for my spy character, Maya. Let's see, I think this outfit would be perfect for her. Yes, I knew this app would help. These tips should help with my lighting issue. This is perfect. I'll use this as a guide to help style the outfit. I'm gonna need these, this. Ooh, and these shoes match the photo pretty well. Okay, I think I found all the items. Time to see what it looks like on. I'm ready to record. Well, love the fit, Brie, and you put it together so fast. What's your secret? Thanks, I actually use the Lemonade app. Huh? Lemonade? <laughs> no, Lemon 8. Oh, Lemon and number 8. I'm gonna download it right now. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly very helpful for all sorts of different tips and tricks. Sweet, love it. Oh, and by the way, you can actually follow me on there if you want. I can. Look. Okay, girl, you just got a new follower. This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know a way you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait, she made this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is going to find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Ugh. There you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. 
Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep. She told me the news this morning. Yes, darling. I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling. I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you off to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne. Take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me. Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, what had happened to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now, why don't you just fetch? No! Oh, thank goodness it's not broken. No. <sighs> she locked me in here? Oh no, it looks like they're already reading their vows. I have to take this lock. I saw this used in a movie once, so uh, let's hope it works. Does anyone have any objections to this marriage? I do. No! Anne, what? Ingrid told me you were sick. Yeah, well that's not the only thing she's lied to you about. She's also not even pregnant. What? Darling, don't listen to her. She obviously doesn't want us to get married. Really? Then what do you call this little recording of yourself? If you do anything to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. Why would you talk to Anne like that? Darling, I can explain. I... Oops, looks like Ingrid's out of talking time. Good, because I don't want to be interrupted when I say this. Ingrid, you and I are over. Oh! I'm so sorry, Anne. I had no idea Ingrid did all those things to you. It's okay. No, this is my fault. I should have listened more to you. I promise you, from here on out, things will be different. Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program. Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. that's not creepy. Ready for your date. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Please let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You picked Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, 
Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes. That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend? Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid, because family members, they are worth a lot more than money. Right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. What? You're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no. I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Ah, oh, shit. I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No. You're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention. The game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I gonna do? Shh, listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker, you're trying to trick me. This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her. Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now, come on. I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because... Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like... like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go! <laughs> Ellie, found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. 
You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a hider? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is going to be. Don't be. You're Santa's daughter. I'm sure you'll get someone just as jolly as you are. I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son because he's super cute. <gasps> who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny's son. Your soulmate's a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. Bye. Jack Frost has a son. Oh, I bet he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I think your father wants to speak with you. He's in his office. Okay. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. Oh, oh. Hello, Holly. Hi, Dad. So, have you found out who your soulmate is the son of? Nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency! Emergency! All the toy machines have been frozen! <laughs> Sounds like the work of Jack Frost. I'll be right back, Holly. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. Name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. Pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Hey! I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No. Have you? Nope. And I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Jared! Santa's looking for you. Ho, ho. There she is. We thought we heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Great. But now we need to know... Who your soulmate is the son of! Please tell me it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I think I need fresh air. Oh no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? Holly? Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. That's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross now. Give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hey, you all right? Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad. He thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah. It's because I haven't mastered my powers yet. You seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Thanks. Want to see something cool? Sure. It's okay. Try again. Oh, Jared, it's beautiful. You really are. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful, but you are too. What are you doing, Dad? We were just talking, Jack. It's Mr. Frost to you, and I know flirting when I see it. No son of mine will be with a Kringle. Stop! That isn't fair. Ow! Dad, let go! No, son. We're leaving. And he's never going to see you again. It's okay, Holly. Just go! Mom, Dad, why are you guys looking at me like that? Because, for the first time in 18 years... You, Holly, are on the naughty list. Okay, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who I got as a soulmate. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. What? <gasps> what? His whole family is cold-hearted. But Jared is different. Ho, ho. Frosts are nothing but bad news. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. That's right. You heard your mother. Go to your room. I have to save Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Holly, I could help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Actually, I could use your help. 
Sweet, because I've already hatched a plan on how you can save Jared. You have? I'm a sucker for a good forbidden love story, plus <laughs> I totally ship you guys. Winky. Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon snooze, which has already been completed. But they never take afternoon naps. Well, let's just say I gave them some special milk and cookies. <gasps> Winky! Sorry, it was the only way, but come with me. I think Jared's in danger. This is the house, and I overheard Jack telling Jared he's going to lock him in the basement. Okay, you distract Jack, and I'll go save Jared. Deal. Please be a vampire. Please be a vampire. Werewolf. Oh, no. Who is ready for their first day of scare school? Me. Did you find out what your soulmate is yet? Mm-mm, not yet. Well, as soon as you find out, let me know. Hey, new girl, what's your species? What? She means what mystical creatures are your parents. Oh, well, my dad is a vampire and my mom is a siren. Your mom's a siren? Like a mermaid? That's so cool. Yeah, well, they're both divorced now, so it didn't really work out. It's all right. Mine are too. Same here. <laughs> I heard Miss Scream is assigning us partners. Really? Yeah, hope we get each other. Yeah, me too. Draculina, you'll be partners with... Can you please just call me Lena? Okay, Lena. You'll be partners with Clauden. No way. I don't work with vampires. I'm not working with her. Well, I don't want to work with him either. If you don't work together, you'll fail the class. Is something bothering you, darling? You hardly touched your spaghetti and eyeballs. Nothing, just someone at school's been giving me a lot of trouble. Oh, well, why don't you just use your siren call to make them fall in love with you? Dad, you know I don't like doing that. Suit yourself. But don't forget to let me know about your soulmate. Right, I will. Claudin, look, we can't fail this class, so we're going to have to work together. Fine. But I can't have you coming over to my house. My father would disown me if he saw me working with you. Likewise, but you do realize that I'm only half vampire, right? You're also half siren, aren't you? Yeah. Wait a minute, how did you know that? Uh, lucky guess. Mm hmm. Anyways, why don't we just work at the old haunted house across the street? No one will spot us together there. No way, that place is infested with ghosts. Aw, oh, what's the matter? Too scared? I can't believe you convinced me to come to this haunted house. If you're too scared, you can leave. I'm not scared. Claudine, look behind you. <laughs> what? Got you. Oh, that's not funny. Don't even smile. You should have seen your face. <laughs> okay, next question. What is the best way to scare a human? Is it A to... What was that? Uh-uh, cut it out. You can't prank me twice. I'm not kidding. What was that? How would I know what... Search the house. This place is probably crawling with them. Are those... Monster hunters, yeah. Come on, we gotta hide. They're here somewhere. I heard them. Hey, it's gonna be okay. I won't let them hurt you. <gasps> Clodden! I got one! What kind of creature do you think she is? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Clodden, can you hear me? What happened? You were hit with a tranquilizer. Wait, what? Where did they go? Hey, don't worry. I took care of the monster hunters. I used my siren call. What does that do again? Well, basically, it makes anyone fall in love with me, and then from there, they'll do whatever I say, so I told them to leave this place and to never come back. Whoa, you... you saved my life. I mean, you were gonna do the same for me. Lena, my soulmate is half vampire and half siren. Um, my soulmate actually says werewolf, so I guess that means that you and I are... We can't be together, Lena. Our parents will never allow it. Wait, speaking of parents, we've been gone for a really long time. Yeah, we better get back. But, Claudin, I'll tell my dad that we're soulmates if you tell yours. Uh, okay. Dad, there's something I need to... Honey! Mom? Mom? Surprise! I'm human for today. Isn't your mother just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? What did you do to Dad? You know your father can be short with me. He wasn't gonna let me in, so I... So you used your siren call on him? Don't act like you don't do the same. I do not. Uh-huh. Anyways, what did you want to tell him? Well, I was gonna tell him that I found out my soulmate. Oh! Please tell me he's a handsome young merman. Not exactly. He's, uh... He's a werewolf. A werewolf? Baby, you know how your dad feels about those. I know, but I really like this guy. 
Does he feel the same about you? Mom, we're soulmates, of course. So we're your father and I, and look how we turned out. But, but nothing. You need to make sure he feels the same way before you tell your dad. Hey, Clodden. Hey. So I don't really know how to ask you this, but, um, what's wrong? I'm not allowed to talk to you anymore. Wait, what? I don't get it. At first they were okay with me dating you. Then all of a sudden they're telling me to stay away from you. Well, maybe if I go talk to them they'll change their mind. No, I think we better just keep our distance. Aw, oh, baby, what's the matter? Claudine and I can't be together. There are plenty of young mermen for you in the sea. No, Dad, I don't want to date a mer... Wait a minute, Dad would never say something like that. You're controlling him still. Of course not. You don't want me to be with Clauden, do you? Baby, I... Did you make his parents hate me? No, I just went over there to talk to them. Mom. Look, it wasn't going to work out anyways. I'm saving you the trouble. I can't believe you. I'm telling him. Clauden, I can't talk to you. No, wait, there's something I have to... <laughs> Whoa, Lena, you all right? You okay? Yeah, sorry. I only get like this when I'm around garlic. Wait, really? Yeah, one of the many perks being half vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you some water. Thanks. So she does have a weakness. Told you. You two, I, I thought I... Got rid of us? Think again. You won't be able to sing this time. Let's go. Ow! Hurry up and tie her up. We gotta get out of here. I know, I'm almost done. <laughs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena! Hey, get away from her. We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <laughs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena, hey, get away from her. We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving me. Of course. I mean, I'm just glad you're alright. I'm really glad we were able to work things out with our parents. Yeah, now that mine are out of the trance, they really like you, but not your mom. Yeah, she says she's sorry. She's back in the ocean now, though. It's okay. Parents can be a little crazy sometimes. You know, I heard werewolves are really bad kissers. Really? Why don't you find out for yourself? Soulmate controls my brain or my hand? Um, I'm not picking brain because I refuse to think in boy math, so um, I guess that means I'm gonna go with hand. Hand. I wonder what hand he's going to be controlling. Okay, guess it's this one then. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be weird. Honey, you better not have picked to let your soulmate control your hand. What? Of course not. No, I, um, I picked brain. Oh boy, okay, you poor thing. You probably lost so many brain cells. My gosh, are you going to be okay? Yeah, I really just need to go get ready for that Thanksgiving party. Bye-bye. I don't know what dress to wear for the party, the red one or the green one. I mean, it looks nice enough, I'll try it on. Alright, you know what, this dress is pretty cute, I like it. Okay, okay, we have to go to the party now. Hey Brie, nice dress! Thanks! <laughs> okay, can we please stop doing this dance move? Can you please stop it? Hey, you know it's me that's the one who's controlling you, right? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, if you come with me, I can prove it to you. I'm sorry, but if you're really my soulmate, why is my finger saying no? Well, let me show you. Come on over here with me. Hey! Relax, beautiful. I'm... <coughs> I better go. I'm sorry, are you like some sort of MMA fighter? Because what the heck was that? It was self-defense. He was trying to put his hands on you. Yeah, I know, but did you really have to go all karate kid on him? Yes, yes I did. You could have gotten me in a lot of trouble. You're lucky that guy's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. If you don't want me to be mad at you, then just tell me your address and I can meet you in person. Hello, write something. Do you not want to meet up with me? You know what? Forget this. Hey, are you serious? Oh, so now you want to talk to me? I want to meet up with you, but I can't because it's dangerous. Great excuse. I'm serious. You could already be in danger. Okay, you know what? I've had enough of these jokes. You owe me a new lipstick. I am going to get ready to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. 
Please tell me that's you at my door. It's midnight, so if it's not you, then... Are you Jason's soulmate? Who? Answer his question. Whoa, listen, guys, I don't even know my soulmate's name. If I were you, I would leave right now because whoever he is, he's controlling my hand and he seems to know how to fight pretty well. Huh, that has to be Jason. Yeah, it must be. Get her. Hey, he's trying to challenge us to a fight. No, no, don't listen to him. Don't come here. Nah, go ahead. Try and fight me using a girl hand, because I... Ah, he got me right in the eye. Oh. Ooh, I am so sorry about that, but I did warn you, you know. Huh? Oh. Ugh. You haven't won just yet. I don't think so. Did you not just see what my soulmate just did to those last two guys? So you can only imagine what he's gonna do to you. <laughs> Come on, now is not the time to quit on me. <laughs> you know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. Oh, and so now, there's no one left to save you. You know what that means? Your soulmate is probably dead. There's no one left to save you. Huh, not so tough when you can't use your hands, now are you? I don't understand, what do you guys want with me? Your soulmate owes us a lot of money, and we were gonna use you as bait to get to him. But we're gonna make a call, and if we find out that he's really dead, then you will be too. He can't be dead. My hand is moving, which means he must still be- Hey, shh. Are you Jason? Yeah, shh, keep your voice down. I have a plan to save us both. Okay, even though you're free now, pretend you're not. I'm gonna hide back here. They're coming. It's gonna be fine. Remember, I have a plan. He's still alive, so I'm moving you to a different lo- Oh, oh, oh. Not today. Oh. Hey, Jason, surrender now or I'll kill her. <laughs> yeah, bird brain. Did you forget I'm still controlling her hand? Huh? Hey, listen. Yes, Mr. Super Spy? <laughs> well, I heard if we kiss, it'll make me stop controlling your hand. Oh. So, good idea, bad idea? You know, I say it's, it's worth a, a shot. Day. Sweet. It's a new life. Whoa, it totally worked. And now, it's asking me if I want to control your hand. I don't think that's a good idea, since you don't really know how to fight, and, you know, with my job. Hey! Well, it looks like you're just gonna have to teach me. Why, you little... <laughs> a language to speak until you meet your soulmate? English or Spanish? I mean, everyone I know speaks English, so... Surprise attack! ¿Qué te pasa? <laughs> Why are you speaking Spanish? Esto es su culpa. Oh, you must have been picking what language to speak today. Mama, tenemos un problema. Honey, did you pick to speak Spanish until you kiss your soulmate? How did this happen? Well... Ella. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Aw, uh, it's okay, baby. Seriamente? Oh, stop. You'll be fine. Go to school. Don't worry, bestie. I speak Spanish. I can translate for you. Sé sí, que... Gracias. Hey, girly, I gotta do something. I'll be right back. Just wait here. <sighs> Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Sorry, girl, I don't speak Spanish. Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Are you speaking Spanish, girly? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Hey, I couldn't help but hear you said your head was hurting. Sí, ¿puedes entenderme? Sí, hablo español. I can understand you. Follow me. You said you need your medication. Where's your backpack? I... Okay. ¿Te sientes mejor? Did the medication help? Sí, gracias. So, you can't speak English at all right now? And you won't be able to until you kiss your soulmate? You never know, maybe you and I are soulmates. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe we should try to... Well, that was nice. Sorry if I'm being awkward. No, it's okay. No way, you just spoke English. You and I must be... Soulmates. soulmates. I'm just Ken, and you were a else I'd be a ten. Mommy, what's that? It's like charades, honey. You just have to act out your word very quickly, and I have to guess. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh, a, a dog. <sighs> Understand how to play? Yeah. I got a word now. What am I riding? Um, a bike? No, not a bike. You use your feet. A motorcycle? No, honey, please hurry or something bad is going to happen to Mommy. I don't know. I don't I know. bought this for you for your birthday. Um, a scooter? Yes. Oh, I'm safe. I don't like this game. A camera? No, and the time's up. No, I'm so sorry. I couldn't guess it in time. Sissy, I got a word. Rar. Okay, um, a lion? No. <laughs> a tiger? A bear? No, no, not that. Come on, Susie. You only have ten seconds left. Rar. A cheetah? A leopard? Just tell me what it is. Whisper the word. Okay, uh, it's a panther. A panther! Yay, you got it right. I'm safe. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Officer? Hello, ma'am. We're looking for a girl named Susie. We believe your daughter cheated. Tell me what it is. Whisper the word. It's a failure. Susie, did you cheat? No, my sister guessed the right answer. Uh-huh. Well, the report could have been a glitch. Remember, cheating has consequences. We know. Have a nice day. What was that about? Look, Mom, let's just say that Susie is not good at this game. We need to sign her up for acting classes or something. Honey, don't tell me you actually cheated. I wasn't gonna let her die. Huh? Let who die? No one. Nothing, Susie. We're just talking, sweetheart. You are lucky you got off the hook this time. Mom? No, this is ridiculous. Mom, I have a word. Okay, go ahead. You're holding your breath. You're swimming. You're... you're a shark? No. Uh... The Water Olympics? No, Mom, come on. Let me guess, let me guess. Um, um, scuba diver. Yes. <sighs> that was a close one. Uh-oh, I got a word. Come on, Susie, you got this. Ooh, I learned about this in school. Okay, honey, act it out. It looks like she's swimming. Um, a duck? No, not that. A swan? Nope. Grr. Um, what is it? I don't know. Okay, Mom, I don't know. Just help her. Splash. We have to cheat again. No, don't. Mom. Susie, what is your word? My word is... Susie? She's alive. That was scary. I really thought we lost her. This doesn't make any sense. Every time someone gets a word wrong, an armed drone comes down and shoots them. I know, honey, but the drone missed. No, but the drones never miss. The creator of the game programmed them to have perfect accuracy. There's something you need to know. Your father is the creator of this game. What? It's the reason I divorced him. You mean to tell me that our father is the reason for this game existing? Yes. I'm going to act it out headquarters, and I'm getting Dad to shut down this game. No, it's too dangerous. He didn't kill Susie, which means he still cares about us. I have to try. Hey, you're not allowed to be in yet. My father is Darren White, the creator of this game, and I want to speak to him. Oh, really? You got some ID on you? Oh. Now let me see my father. I see your mom finally told you about me. You've got a lot of explaining to do. You got a word, didn't you? Don't worry, I'll guess it for you. Act it out. No. What? Me and everyone else are done playing this game. Sweetheart, you're gonna run out of time. End the game. Just act it out, I can't. No, if you really love me, you're gonna end it right now. I've put too much work into this game to stop it now. Then I guess you're only gonna have one daughter. No, honey. Oh my god, what have I done? Dad. Shut the game down. But sir, I said shut it down. <laughs> the game is offline. Good, I gotta get her to a hospital. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't believe this happened. I did it for all of us. So Daddy's gone? Yeah, the doctor said once he found out she was okay, he took off. All that matters is that this horrible game is over. Yeah. Sissy needs to rest now. I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks, Mom. Please be a vampire. Please be a vampire. Werewolf. Oh, no. Who is ready for their first day of scare school? Me. Did you find out what your soulmate is yet? Mm-mm, not yet. Well, as soon as you find out, let me know. Hey, new girl, what's your species? What? She means what mystical creatures are your parents. Oh, well, my dad is a vampire and my mom is a siren. Your mom's a siren? Like a mermaid? That's so cool. Yeah, well, they're both divorced now, so it didn't really work out. It's all right. Mine are too. Same here. <laughs> I heard Miss Scream is assigning us partners. Really? Yeah, hope we get each other. Yeah, me too. Draculina, you'll be partners with... Can you please just call me Lena? Okay, Lena. You'll be partners with Clauden. No way. I don't work with vampires. I'm not working with her. Well, I don't want to work with him either. If you don't work together, you'll fail the class. Is something bothering you, darling? You hardly touched your spaghetti and eyeballs. Nothing, just someone at school's been giving me a lot of trouble. Oh, Belle, why don't you just use your siren call to make them fall in love with you? Dad, you know I don't like doing that. Suit yourself. But don't forget to let me know about your soulmate. Right, I will. Claudin, look, we can't fail this class, so we're gonna have to work together. Fine, but I can't have you coming over to my house. My father would disown me if he saw me working with you. Likewise, but you do realize that I'm only half vampire, right? You're also half siren, aren't you? Yeah. Wait a minute, how did you know that? Uh, lucky guess. Mm hmm. Anyways, why don't we just work at the old haunted house across the street? No one will spot us together there. No way, that place is infested with ghosts. Aw, oh, what's the matter? Too scared? 
I can't believe you convinced me to come to this haunted house. If you're too scared, you can leave. I'm not scared. Claudine, look behind you. <laughs> what? Got you. Oh, that's not funny. Don't even smile. You should have seen your face. <laughs> Okay, next question. What is the best way to scare a human? Is it A to... What was that? Uh-uh, cut it out. You can't prank me twice. I'm not kidding. What was that? How would I know what... Search the house. This place is probably crawling with them. Are those... Monster hunters, yeah. Come on, we gotta hide. They're here somewhere. I heard them. Hey, it's gonna be okay. I won't let them hurt you. <gasps> Claudin! I got one. What kind of creature do you think she is? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Claudin, can you hear me? What happened? You were hit with a tranquilizer. Wait, what? Where did they go? Hey, don't worry. I took care of the monster hunters. I used my siren call. What does that do again? Well, basically it makes anyone fall in love with me, and then from there they'll do whatever I say, so I told them to leave this place and to never come back. Whoa, you... you saved my life. I mean, you were gonna do the same for me. Lena, my soulmate is half vampire and half siren. Um, my soulmate actually says werewolf, so I guess that means that you and I... We can't be together, Lena. Our parents will never allow it. Wait, speaking of parents, we've been gone for a really long time. Yeah, we better get back. But, Claudin, I'll tell my dad that we're soulmates if you tell yours. Uh, okay. Dad, there's something I need to... Honey! Mom? Mom? Surprise! I'm human for today. Isn't your mother just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? What did you do to Dad? You know your father can be short with me. He wasn't gonna let me in, so I... So you used your siren call on him? Don't act like you don't do the same. I do not. Uh-huh. Anyways, what did you want to tell him? Well, I was gonna tell him that I found out my soulmate. Oh! Please tell me he's a handsome young merman. Not exactly. He's, uh... He's a werewolf. A werewolf? Baby, you know how your dad feels about those. I know, but I really like this guy. Does he feel the same about you? Mom, we're soulmates, of course. So we're your father and I, and look how we turned out. But- But nothing! You need to make sure he feels the same way before you tell your dad. Hey, Clodden. Hey. So, I don't really know how to ask you this, but, um... What's wrong? I'm not allowed to talk to you anymore. Wait, what? I don't get it. At first they were okay with me dating you. Then all of a sudden they're telling me to stay away from you. Well, maybe if I go talk to them they'll change their mind. No, I, I think we better just keep our distance. Aw, oh, baby, what's the matter? Claudin and I can't be together. There are plenty of young mermen for you in the sea. No, Dad, I don't want to date a mer... Wait a minute, Dad would never say something like that. You're controlling him still. Of course not. You don't want me to be with Claudin, do you? Baby, I... Did you make his parents hate me? No, I just went over there to talk to them. Mom. Look, it wasn't going to work out anyways. I'm saving you the trouble. I can't believe you. I'm telling him. Claudin, I can't talk to you. No, wait, there's something I have to... <laughs> Whoa, Lena, you alright? You okay? Yeah, sorry. I only get like this when I'm around garlic. Wait, really? Yeah, one of the many perks being half-vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you some water. Thanks. So she does have a weakness. Told you. You two, I, I thought I... Got rid of us? Think again. You won't be able to sing this time. Let's go. Ow! Hurry up and tie her up. We gotta get out of here. I know, I'm almost done. <laughs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena! Hey, get away from her. We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <laughs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena, hey, get away from her. We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving me. Of course. I mean, I'm just glad you're alright. I'm really glad we were able to work things out with our parents. Yeah, now that mine are out of the trance, they really like you, but not your mom. Yeah, she says she's sorry. She's back in the ocean now, though. It's okay. Parents can be a little crazy sometimes. You know, I heard werewolves are really bad kissers. Really? Why don't you find out for yourself? Join a dating program or go to prison? I guess I'm joining a dating program.
Finding you boyfriend based on your internet search yeah, history. Yeah, that's not creepy. Ready for your day. You know what? Why not? I hope you don't mind paying for the bill. Yeah, sir, you can give that to her. I forgot my wallet. Ooh, excuse me. You can actually just take this and keep the change. Goodbye. Wait, what? Finding another match. Thank you. Sup, girl? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I'm sorry, no. Just, just no. Finding new boyfriend. Please let it be someone decent. Hey, I'm Damien. Hi, I'm Danielle. <laughs> you seem cold. Here, take my jacket. Thank you so much for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? Thank you for the jacket. No problem. Wait, what's in your pocket? That would be my medication. Oh, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have even looked. It's all good. You were just being cautious. What do you do for fun? Well, I usually like to go to the park and walk my dog. I bet you and your little dog get a lot of attention on walks. Yeah, she's... How did you know I have a small dog? You just look like the type to have one. Thanks for the tea. Of course. Cheers. Cheers. Hope this isn't too forward. So what do you say? Well, it says I have 24 hours to make a decision. Don't tell me you want to wait. I mean, we've only known each other for a few hours, and I would just like to get to know you a little bit better before... before I... Shh, it's okay. I had a feeling you might say that. Let me take that drink. Finalizing your decision. You picked Damien as your boyfriend. Where am I? Hello, Danielle. I hope you slept well. These are for you. I want you to know you're safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you. I've been watching you. You're a stalker, aren't you? I wouldn't say that. More like I'm your biggest fan. You see, I've been following you on social media for quite some time now. And when all of us were forced to join this dating app, I made it my goal to become your perfect match. And thanks to this dating system, I'm now your boyfriend. Anyways, I'd like you to put that on. That's not happening. If you don't wear it, you don't eat. I need to switch my boyfriend. You have already picked a boyfriend, you may not change it. No, please, it is an emergency. Question, is your life currently at risk? Yes! That's all my money in my bank account. Five seconds to decide. Okay, deal. Contacting authorities now. Cheers to us, Danielle. I'm so glad you decided to wear the dress. Where are they? Where's who? You sure you're all right, miss? Danielle! Sir, stop resisting. I love you, Danielle. I'm gonna find you again. I promise. Are you ready to meet your new boyfriend? Let's sit a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are gonna pay more. We will pay you 500. Per day? <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Per hour. Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald. How are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> is something wrong? It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mommy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay, well I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great, thanks. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> I'm back. <sighs> Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? Uh, that's my dog. I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to... dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. 
I'll take special meds just to be around the dog, please. She's the only friend I got. Look, I get it, but Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No, don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're going to need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you... Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance and I'm not really sure how long things are gonna... You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. <sighs> but I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay. Cool. BRB. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> what did I just see? That didn't look like a dog that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait! Have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're gonna have to join them. Ugh, my head. She woke up. Shh, you're gonna scare her. What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great, you know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way, though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mummy. Ronald, there you are. Don't bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. I wish, girl, we tried. Oh my gosh, he left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kick the table over. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. <sighs> no, 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 girls, trust me, this is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Chill, I'm not gonna get rid of- Freeze, kid. What the- Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah, he is. I was meant to be your boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare you? Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him. But definitely not him. What? Next. But I... And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow, that was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry, I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. 
If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must. I will not lose you like I lost your father. You must find a husband. Do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you all right? My corset, it's... it's too tight. Corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on, I'll help you. Is that better? Yes, thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. <laughs> I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who- Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I- Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, Your Highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding. That man is a fraud. Nathaniel. Someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No. I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the queen. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, Princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> <gasps> princess Elizabeth! Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, Princess. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. 
I'm not giving him my heart. Oh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. <sighs> this is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you... You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, princess. Get her. Run. But what about- Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, your majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know, because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, mother. I didn't ask. Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No! It's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name. William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness. What have they done to you? I promised to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother. Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth. You're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart? Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding! That prince is evil! William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart! Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... You die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William! Elizabeth! Remember, girls, no using your powers at school. Don't worry, Professor. I'll make sure everything goes fine. I'm so excited for our first day of high school. Yeah, because being stuck in a building for eight hours is going to be so much fun. 
Everyone, please welcome our new students, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. Um, who picked out your names? <laughs> <laughs> the professor named us. Who? Oh, she means our dad. He's a scientist. Oh, wow. Very interesting. What a bunch of freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Way to keep our cover, Bubbles. Sorry. It's okay, Bubbles. So, you three are sisters? Yeah, why? How come you guys look nothing alike? We're all adopted. Yikes, so you're not really sisters then? Of course we are. Of course we are. Ugh, your voice is so annoying. Why don't you say that again? <gasps> what the? I'm telling you, we saw her. Her eyes were red. I think you guys have seen too many scary movies. I agree. Yeah, me have laser eyes. Come on. We're telling the truth. They are freaks. Ladies, that is enough. You two have detention for lying. What? We are so getting you back. Thanks for trying to protect me, Blossom. Of course, nobody bullies my sister. Blossom, do you realize what you've done? Our cover is officially blown. No, it's not. The principal didn't even believe them. But Blossom, look, there's a camera up there. Uh-oh, do you think they could have recorded me using my powers? Let's hope not. Don't worry, I'll just destroy the camera. Bubbles, no! Don't! What? Now the camera's destroyed. So there was a fire at school today, hmm? You girls wouldn't have anything to do with that, now would you? Babe, I got- Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm- What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed? Now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because. After I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> my phone is dead and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You! You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words! Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> so step away from the girl, let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No! It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine. I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. Why? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <sighs> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. Looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. I don't think that's... The captain wasn't asking. 
I knew it. I could sense her mark. Take her to the ship, boys. Yes, Captain. Wait, what? Welcome aboard the ship, the Blue Pearl. Legend says when you touch your soulmate, your mark will disappear. So let's see which one of us gets to marry you. Raise your sword if you think the girl is your soulmate. All right, make a line. Hello, miss. Let's see if it's me. Ah, but that's all of us. What about him? Father, do you think I could try? I told you to stay below deck. Ignore my son. He's no pirate. Wait, where'd you get that necklace? My father. Captain, doesn't that look just like the one that the... the pirate king had? Tell me, what is your father's name? You know what? I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. I can already tell you're his daughter, which means you're the lost pirate princess. My father was a pirate, but he wasn't a king. Why do you speak of him in past tense? Because he's dead. Who told you that? My mother. I see. So she was the sea witch who took you away. Don't call her that. She said she wanted to protect me from him. No, your father wanted you to have a royal life. And she wanted you to have a normal one. At least that's what he told me. Wait a minute, you knew my father? Yes, we were great friends. Why don't I take you to him? You would do that? Of course. After all, you are royal blood. Princess, you have to get off the ship. Right now. What? Why? Because my father lied to you. He's not taking you to see your father, him, and all the other crewmates. They're cursed. The only way to break the curse is to sacrifice a royal. He wants to kill me. I want to help you, but we have to jump off the ship. Your mark, it's gone. That means I'm your... Well, soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape. Not so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William! Where are we? We're on Skull Island, Princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, Your Majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be married? Hey, Mom, what's this? It shows you what your soulmate is up to, honey. What does it say? It says that, um, he wants to use the bathroom. Not funny, you have to give him permission. I'm sorry, okay, I hope he hasn't been waiting too long. He's asking for permission to go to school now? That could mean that we're the same age and maybe we'll even bump into each other. What's he been wanting to do? Just the normal stuff, like go to school and use the bathroom. Ooh, what's he asking permission for? Um, he wants to go on a hike. He keeps asking me this over and over again. You are not kidnapping someone. Stop that. Were you just talking about your soulmate? <laughs> no. That's it. No more interacting with him. But mom... I said no. He sounds dangerous. This isn't fair. He was probably just kidding. He wants to come inside my house? I mean, sure. Wait, how does he know where I live? My soulmate picks my hair or my job for the day. I'm pretty particular with how I like my hair, so I think I'm going to go with job. Please pick me an easy job. Movie star. What the? Okay, I didn't exactly expect him to pick this job for me, and I'm not going to school dressed like this. Why isn't this coming off? You may not remove work outfit. Yeah, I should have picked the hair option. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. No way. Look, before you laugh, I know this outfit's a lot, but I'm like your number one fan. Uh, you're definitely not. I am. Whoa. <laughs> Can you sign this for me? No, no me. me. Okay, let's all just calm down. <laughs> oh, shit. Talking about things. I do it. I think I lost him. Excuse me, can, can you sign this for me? Oh, of course, sweetheart. What do you want me to say? Can you write the alphabet? But can you do it in Spanish? Oh, I don't really know how to do that, but I can sign my name. No, that's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. Look, 
There's my autograph! No, I don't want it. Hey, look, this movie star is making this kid cry. No, 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 she just wanted me to write this just in. Big time movie star makes little girl no, cry. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cut. That's a wrap. Guess we get to go home now. Thank God. Hey, question. I picked for my soulmate to pick my occupation for the day, but I kind of want that to stop happening. Oh, you have to meet your soulmate to make that stop. But... I don't even know what his name is, or where he lives. Uh-huh. Sounds like a you problem. Looks like we're doing this again. May. Oh, no, he did it. May. Oh, no, he did it. I better not be wearing what I think I'm wearing. Oh, he is so dead. Honey. Mom. Oh, thank goodness you're home. Look at what my soulmate... Shh, enough chit-chat, honey. Here, your room needs dusting. What? You heard me. I don't pay you to sit around. But, Mom... Uh-uh. Get to work. But I have to go to school. School can wait. You've got dust to clean. Who does he think he is? Turning me into Cinderella? I swear, when I find him, I'm gonna... May not remove job uniform. Yes, I know. I wasn't trying to remove it. It's just itching me. Principal Peters, hi. Uh, listen, about my outfit, I know it's against dress code, but... There you are. The bathrooms need sweeping. But I'm supposed to get to class. Forget about class. You get to cleaning that bathroom. Yes, sir. Aw, poor baby has to... Ow! Whoops. I'm telling my mom. I am so over being a maid. If he does not give me a better job, I will hunt him down and... Lion tamer. Lion tamer. No, no. What on earth has he done to me? Honey, there's some people at the door that want to talk to you. Who exactly? Because if it's someone with a lion, tell them I'm not here. Honey, they're waiting. Come on. But mom... There you are. You're late. Late for what, exactly? Your show with the lion. Oh, you see, I would, but I hurt my shoulder so bad the other day. Oh, it's just awful. So I better go rest it. You were holding the other shoulder before? Both, both shoulders got hurt. Yeah, right. Come on. Let's get out of here. All right, we're here. Let me just tell you that there has been a little mistake. I am not the right person for this. Relax, and don't forget this. Was that him? It's a her, actually. I'll go grab her for you. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Come on, you got this. You can do this. Okay, bring her in. Okay. Here she is. Why didn't you tell me the lion was a puppy? We like to scare our new workers. You should have seen your face. She's so cute. Yes, she is. Okay, I'll admit, this occupation was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Maybe for the next job, though, I can get something a little less out there. Chef. A chef? At least that's a little bit more normal. Congrats. You've been selected to be on our cooking show. Huh? Let's go. Take this spatula, and we're live in five. You guys don't understand. I'm not actually a real chef. This outfit is not even mine. Uh-huh. May not remove uniform. Each of you will be paired with a celebrity that you must cook a meal for. Contestant number one, you've been paired with Tom Holland. No way! Hey, everyone. Okay, who did I get? You've been paired with a new upcoming actor. Meet Zack Starman. You seem a bit disappointed. No, it's just that I never really heard of you before, and I thought we were doing A-list celebrities, so... Whoa! You don't think I'm good enough to be here? No, no, I... You don't want to upset your celebrity guest, as they will be judging your food. Looks like Tom Holland loved contestant number one's dish. For my dish I made for my celebrity guest is a Rice Krispie Treat with some M&Ms on top. I hope that, that you will like it. Bon appetit! Hmm. Needs more salt. But it's a Rice Krispie Treat. It's not supposed to be salty. Sorry, love, but I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. Well, with that score, that means contestant number one is the winner! I just won 500k! You know, joke is on you guys, because that was a store-bought Rice Krispie. I don't even care about this competition anymore. Hey, you're right. I'm just kind of getting tired of all these crazy jobs that my soulmate's giving me. Oh, well, here's my number, if you ever want to talk. My mom is going to be so mad I didn't win that money. Wait a minute, I just took my hat off. But I could only do that if... Soulmate found. You figured it out, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you've got some explaining to do. Can I explain over a date? As long as I don't have to cook. <laughs> Deal. It's him. Good morning, Angel. Good, Good morning, morning, Charlie. Are you ready for your next assignment? Yes, sir. We thought you'd never ask. Please tell me it doesn't evolve scuba diving this time.
Yeah, I just got my nails done. Actually, that's perfect because you're going to be going undercover at a high-end hotel. How high-end? The Four Seasons. Fancy. We'll go get ready. Does everyone remember what the target looks like? Brunette male with green eyes. Around 5'10 and wears a gold chain on his neck. Correct, and I think I just found him. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Whoa, hey, sweetheart. Okay, the tracker is activated. Entendido. Huh? I can't understand you. <laughs> nada, nada. Make your move, Bree. Ay, estoy cansada. Ah, oh, sweetheart, are you tired? Come rest at my suite. And then after, you can give me a little Spanish lesson. <laughs> Careful, Bree. He could be tricking you. So what do you say? I speak English, but you understand? See. Si. Interesting. I don't like this. She shouldn't have went up to his room. Would you relax? If she needs help, all she has to do is ask. Why can't I hear her anymore? I don't know. I lost the signal. You're a good kisser, sweetheart. But, uh, can I ask you something? What kind of tracker is this? Did you think I wouldn't notice you putting it on my neck? No comprendo. Yeah, yeah, cut the act, okay? I already know you can speak English. Fine, you got me. Let me see your hands. Whoa, take it easy. Listen, you're gonna start to feel a little funny right about now. I wore something special for you when we kissed. Great. Something is wrong. We have to go after her. You're right. Let's go. Let's find out who you really are. Wake up. Morning, Sleeping Beauty. I got some questions to ask you. Okay, who do you work for? Don't feel like talking anymore, huh? I think I can change that. Freeze! Drop what's in your hands now. I got a better idea. How about you two drop what's in your hands, and I don't hurt your friend? Okay, okay. You too, Blondie. We surrender. Smart friends. <sighs> what are you two- Ooh! Oh! I think it's someone's nap time. I'm sending this to Charlie. Bree, are you alright? Yeah, thanks guys. I'm sorry the mission didn't go as planned, Charlie. Girls, it's alright. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Yeah, and at least now Mr. Crazy can be brought in for questioning. Exactly. I'm so proud of you, Angels. Stay still for facial scan. Hello, Angel. Welcome back. Hey, Charlie. Sorry I'm a little late. Angels, thank goodness. Something terrible has happened. What? Where's Maya? That's just it. Maya is MIA. She's missing? Since when? Since yesterday. She went on a solo mission and hasn't returned. She knows we work better as a team. How can we find her, Charlie? Well, girls... Charlie and I have put together a plan to save her. We're listening. Okay, Charlie. I have her location. Excellent. Now, Bree, are you sure you can handle this mission? I'm sure. Charlie, the girl's transportation is arriving. Nice. Charlie always did get us the coolest rides. My friends are going to find me. I am counting on it. Finally, we're on site. What's the security looking like? Pretty heavy. This guy's got cameras everywhere. How about bodyguards? Oh, yeah. He's got those, too. Okay, I'm in. Were you able to hack the cameras? Yeah, but it's only a matter of time before they find out. You need to move fast. Copy that. I believe she's in the last room on your left. Heading that way now. Wait, you got company. Great. How many guys am I going to have to fight? I don't think you can fight these guys. Freeze. We have you surrounded. Let's see your hands. Now. It was a setup. You think? Do it. Oh. Bree, can you hear me? Maya? What did you do to her? Oh, that was nothing. Just wait. It's up to me now to save them. Just one more angel to capture. Oh, you don't want to mess with Jessica. Yeah, she's the toughest of all of us. We shall see. Maya, Bree, I'm here to save you. Please tell me you brought something to protect yourself with. And please tell me it's not the pin. What's wrong with this? Jessica, no. Girl, are you for real? Guys, trust me. I know what I'm doing. Oh, do you? Don't move or I'll click it and bad things will happen. <laughs> she's the toughest, okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Red, alert. What did you do? Let's just say you might want to check on your mom. What? Boys, where are you? Thanks, Jess. Yeah, but I thought that pen was a tranquilizer. 
No, not this one. Hey, you let them free? Ugh, nice one. There should be two guys left. Hey, don't move. Right on cue. Ladies, let's get them. Five mil or a lamp? Well, I'm like really afraid of the dark, so I gotta have a lamp. <sighs> this isn't a lamp. It doesn't even have like a light bulb. Did you get your birthday gift yet? Yeah, I picked a lamp, but I got scammed. It doesn't even light up or anything. That's a genie lamp. What? Have you tried rubbing it? Um, no, that's weird. You dumb dumb, you gotta rub it to activate your wishes. Haven't you seen Aladdin? Oh my god, wait, I remember that movie. You're right. So, do I just rub it like this? Yeah, I think so. Nothing's happening. Open the lamp. Agree! Congrats! You got three wishes! Are you a genie? No, I'm your mama. Come on, of course I'm a genie! <sighs> okay, no need for the attitude. So, can we, like, wish for anything? Nope, there are rules. And here they are. <sighs> no wishing for money? You already had a chance to get five mil! I... Okay, that's fair. I wish for... Stop! You gotta think about it! Alright, alright. Okay, I got it. I wish... Wait. Shh. I wish... You're gonna regret this. Oh my gosh, I wish you would just be quiet. Your wish is my command. I didn't mean that. Hmm. No, listen, that doesn't count. Come on, turn her back. Sorry, I can't take back any wishes. Hmm? Jeannie, come on, just give her her voice back. The only thing you can do is wish for it back. But if I do that, I'm only gonna have one wish left. Look who can do math, yes. Listen, you don't really need your voice, right? Mm. Ow! Okay. Guess you do. Mm-hmm. I can't understand you. Mm. I can't understand you. If only there was some way that she could communicate with me. Now is that the time for text? This is serious. Mm. I am so bad at making decisions. I wish that I was smarter. Mm. All right. You got it, kid. I know what to do. I've decided. I wish for her voice to come back, but this time... My voice is super powerful now? People are literally going to pay to hear you sing, and then we can make lots of money. Just try out your voice right now, and, um, see what happens. Okay. <laughs> you still working for that billionaire? Yes, Mom, I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake. Oh. Hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny, I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry. I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news! Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor! He has amnesia! Do you know what this means? <sighs> not really. You can manipulate him! You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind. I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. You don't have enough money, and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes. I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I, I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh, no. Well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see. Follow me. You! I feel like I know you. Oh, babe, your poor head. It's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow! <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. Where is my home? I will show you, and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy, but he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this... 
dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. Uh, yeah, you know what? Would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any... Daddy! Uh, hi, kid. <laughs> my name's Kitty Silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. <laughs> Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy. I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card. You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Good morning, how did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. Now go get ready for work and I'm gonna go make breakfast, okay? Honey, I'm home. Daddy, are those toys? They sure are. I got your favorite animal. A tiger. Mommy, he, he remembered. And for your sister, a bunny. And for your mother, flowers. Babe, these are my favorite. How how did you know? A memory came to me of you picking some for me. Mr. Blake, I picked these for you. They're my favorites. Everything's still pretty fuzzy. Peekaboo. <laughs> she has your smile. I have a question. Yes? If we had two kids together and we're in love, then why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Well, I think now I want to. He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he... Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I... You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry, I should have never... Mommy, where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Where's Daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but, but it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Jenny, these past few weeks with you and your kids made me understand there's more to life than just money. It turns out the person who brought me the most joy was right in front of me all along. I just didn't realize it. When I said I wanted to marry you, I meant it. I bought this for you last night. He wants to marry you, Mommy. Now we can be a real family. Learn a fact about every item you touch or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm going to go with this one got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> 
you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah. Do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey. Let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aw. I win. Since you won, I, I picked these flowers for you. Prince Daniel, do you see that above your head, too? Uh-huh. You have to get people to kiss you. Oh. How about I kiss you? But if we're soulmates, your score will... It will go up high. Okay. Yes. <gasps> Stop! You're forbidden to see Prince Daniel again. No. Go to your room. Stepmother, please let me go help the village people. I won't talk to any boys, and I promise I'll only be gone for a few hours. No. What if some stranger tries to kiss you and your score goes up? Why don't you want my kiss score to go up? Yours is already at 50. They say if you kiss your soulmate, your score goes up really high. Is that why yours is so high? No. Soulmates are a lie. I just have a way with men. But you're staying in your room. I told the village people that I was going to help them out today, and I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you, princess. We appreciate your help. Oh, it was my pleasure, really. Look, her score is going up. Hey, Princess Sydney? It's me, Prince I, Daniel. I have to go. Wait, I haven't seen you in forever. I'm forbidden to talk to you, remember? Oh, come on. You know you still owe me. Princess, there you are. How did your score go up? Who kissed you? It was two women from the village. They were both so grateful for my help that they each kissed one of my hands. 
We also caught her talking to Prince Daniel. I'm so sorry. He started talking to me and... Silence. You were forbidden to see him. We'll discuss your punishment later. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes, and don't come back until the job is done. So you're allowing me to go out in the village today? Are you sure you're not still mad? All is forgiven. Thank you. My best god will be with you for protection. Come along, princess. Oh, sweetheart, don't cry. I picked this flower earlier. Would you like to have it? Yes, please. You don't know how much that means to her. Allow me to repay you for your kindness. Oh, you really don't. Everyone, let's all kiss the princess's hand so we can raise her score. Yeah! Good job, everyone. She's almost about to beat the evil queen's score. Yeah! Today was an eventful day, huh? I just hope that stepmother doesn't mind that my kiss score is almost as high as hers. After tonight, I don't think she'll mind. Let's get you back home. We're almost there. No, stop. You keep saying that, and I don't remember the way to the castle being this way. <sighs> well, princess, that's because it's not. No. I'm sorry, princess. Why are you doing this? The queen believes you are a threat to her kiss score. She ordered me to get rid of you. I don't want to kill you, but if I don't, she'll kill me. Close your eyes. Oh. Stay back. Daniel. Run. Run and don't come back. Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? Please help me. The queen, she was trying to kill- Whoa, whoa, sweetheart. It's all right. Come on, let's get you inside. Thank you for letting me stay here. Your dog is so sweet. Of course. It's our pleasure, dear. Good night, sweetheart. Come here. Princess, I'm taking the dog out for a walk. Don't answer the door to anyone. Okay. I know this song. That's the song that Mother used to sing to me. Mom? Oh, Sydney. Yes, it's me. No, that's impossible. You died when I was four. The ones we love are never gone. I've come to give you a kiss. You only need one more kiss to beat the Evil Queen's score. How do you know that? Because, my daughter, I'm magic. That's how I came back to life. Now let me give you a kiss. I... I don't know if I believe you. How about I give you a little demonstration? Yes. You see, dear? Magic. It's really me, your mom. I've missed you so much. Once I give you this magical kiss, we'll be together forever. <laughs> Mom, I don't feel very good. Well, that's because you've been tricked. <laughs> Stepmother? Hello, Sydney. I've just given you the kiss of death. You'll be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, princess, I found a prince who was looking for you. No, Sydney. The queen must have done this to her. Daniel, I... I love... No, hey, stay with me. Sydney. Sydney! No, oh, please. Please, no, Sydney, no. wake up. I'm so sorry, dear. This wasn't supposed to happen. Remember you? You still owe me that kiss. Wait, true love's kiss? She's waking up. Look at her score. Ow! You two must be soulmates. I knew it. The evil queen has gone too far this time. You have to take back your kingdom. You're right. She's finally... Not so fast. What? Surprise. You're probably wishing you would have tried to kill me too now. Why, you, Sydney, get away from him. You don't make the rules anymore, stepmother. I do. And you're hereby dethroned. <laughs> you wouldn't dare hurt me with that sword. Try me and see what happens. <gasps> Guards? No, you fools, get off of me. Finally, we have a good queen. I can get adopted by a teacher or a mafia boss? What is that? I'm gonna go ask some of the other kids. Hey guys, do any of you know what a mafia boss is? How innocent. Mafia bosses are super rich and they make for great parents. It's true, they're super nice. Really? Yeah, if that's one of your options, you should pick it. Okay. <laughs> Someone is here to adopt you. Hey, kid. Natalie, say hi. Hi. This is Mr. Russo. He's going to take great care of you. Come on, Natalie. Let's take you to your new home. I got you a little something. Thank you. Of course. So is it true that you make a lot of money? Excuse me? I don't like to talk about my job. I'm sorry, I was just asking. No questions about my work. Put these on and go to your room for 30 minutes. But why? Hey boss, he's ready for you. Natalie, go now. Okay. You're late again on your payment. This will be the last time, I swear. Yeah, it will be. Bye, Mr. Russo. Wait, before you go to school. I want you to uh, stay away from any cops you see, okay? Okay. Hi, hon. I'm Officer Blair. I really should be going. We just want to talk to you about your father. He a mafia boss? No. Uh-huh. 
Don't lie to us. Hey! Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. You'll use this. A pen? It has a video camera in it. And you're gonna be recording him all the time. Got it? No, I won't betray my new dad. You don't help us, and you'll be going to juvie, young lady. So we suggest you comply. Maybe those kids lied to me. I mean, if I'm gonna betray him, I have to know what he's really doing for a living. Hey, Mr. Russo, I know you said to never ask about your work, but if I'm gonna be living here with you as your daughter, you have to be honest with me. <sighs> you sure you wanna know? I'm sure. Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh. May I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm going to be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that. I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ow! Oh, oh, what the- Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're gonna have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're gonna have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then he'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna tell him anything. Ow! Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No! Hey, kid. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's gonna be alright. Let's go this way. No! We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are gonna pay. You should know better. You think I'd come here alone? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I brought these for you. Put them on, and close your eyes. Stop it! I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Russo, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Russo? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your- Yes. I promise, I'm always gonna protect you. Please wish for me to pass my test. What? No. Leave me alone. How do you have one wish left? Everyone used theirs up as kids. Well, I was a very smart child, and I saved mine. Hey, looking nice today. Do you want to sit next to me for lunch? Sure. You know, my car broke down today. Oh, so this is why you wanted to sit with me? No, I mean, I wanted to- Save it, Grayson. You just want to use me like everyone else. Can you please wish for- Stop it. Everywhere I go, people are asking me for wishes like I'm some sort of genie. So you know what? I wish for everyone to have three more wishes. Hey, I didn't get any more. What happened? I wish for you to stop talking. Mmm! I have unlimited wishes. Bro, she can give us anything we want. <gasps> get her! She has infinite wishes. Get her! I wish I was home. Honey, you're home early. Yeah, I actually got unlimited- Uh-huh, that's nice. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, can't hear you. I wish for her to take her AirPods off and to smash them on the floor. <gasps> Why did I just do that? Hey, it's Wish Girl. I have a name. Yeah, but no one cares. Now give us wishes. Oh, I don't think so. I wish for everyone at this school to forget that I have unlimited wishes. Wait, what was I talking to you about? Don't move. I wish. Uh-uh. Don't even think about it. Read what's on the paper. I am not reading this. Read it or things are gonna get ugly. I wish to become a genie? Great. Now come with me. Where are we? Your new home.
What? How do you even know me? Someone at your school told me yesterday. Oh man, I should have wished for everyone to forget sooner. You're gonna give me wishes. Not gonna happen. Oh yes it is, I wish to be a billionaire. You must hold hand to activate wish. Oh, okay, come here. No way, I just got a billion dollars in my account. Now I wish for a horse. <laughs> nice, now I wish for a Rolex watch. Can I please take a break now? I'm tired. You're lucky I'm a nice guy. All right, you can have a little break. Come on. You know, when I said I wanted to sit down, this wasn't what I meant. Enough complaining. Don't make me wish for you not to speak. <sighs> what am I going to do? I wish that I was free. Error. You may only grant wishes for others. Psst, Melanie. Grayson, what are you doing here? I saw that guy take you, so I followed you. Why didn't you just call the police? Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, I'll go call them right now. No, 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 wait. Actually, you can help me. All you have to do is just say one wish. What? A wish? Just wish for me not to be a genie anymore. But everyone used up all their- Damn it, Grayson. Just repeat after me. I wish- I wish- For Melanie to not be a genie anymore. For Melanie not to be a genie anymore. Hey, I wish for him to disappear. That's not gonna work. I wish I was free. Out of wishes. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. <laughs> Grayson, a little help, please. What are you gonna do, kid, huh? I was thinking of doing this. <gasps> that's what you get, creep. You okay? Yeah. Oh, here. The cops found these on him. Thanks. I guess those Taekwondo classes really paid off. Yeah, but can you explain what the genie stuff was all about? You know, I wish I could, but I think it's best if I don't. Happy birthday! We got you something! I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 toy pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby. Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still had to say okay, mom. I think you're baby. I think today I'm going to go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? Seventeen. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. 
I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. Are you still working for that billionaire? Yes, Mom. I'm still his house cleaner. And you know what? I've been working for him for two years, and he still hasn't tipped me a cent. Honey, you have a family to support. You need to demand a raise. You're right. Mr. Blake? Oh. Hi, Jenny. The bathroom needs cleaning ASAP. Actually, sir, I... Please, just call me Jason. Jason, I wanted to speak to you about a raise. A raise? Jenny... I don't give raises. With all due respect, I have been working here for two years, and I do very good work. Yes, you do. Okay, well, I'm just asking for a little bit extra pay because financially I... I'm sorry, I don't remember asking for your sob story. Either clean the bathroom or get out! No, not until you give me that raise. I'll do you one better. You're fired. Jenny, the news! Mr. Blake slipped on the bathroom floor. He has amnesia. Do you know what this means? <sighs> Not really. You can manipulate him. You want me to pretend to be a billionaire's girlfriend? There's already rumors you two have been hooking up anyways. What? Never mind. I'm just saying that it would be believable. Look, I don't know. Well, I do know. He took advantage of you because you're so sweet. You don't deserve this. You don't have enough money and he needs payback. I can't do this. Tell them what we rehearsed. Can I help you? Hi, yes. I am here to see my boyfriend, Mr. Blake. I mean, Jason. I, I call him Jason. Okay, well, I'm sorry to inform you he has amnesia. Oh, no. Well, does that mean he's gonna, like, not know who I am? We'll see. Follow me. You! I feel like I know you. Oh, babe, your poor head. It's me, your girlfriend. Girlfriend? Yeah, it's okay if you don't remember my face, baby. I remember your face, but I don't remember liking it. Ow! <laughs> I'm glad to see he hasn't forgotten his sense of humor. You get to come home tomorrow. Where is my home? I will show you, and the kids will be so excited. Kids! Now, remember, sweetheart, when you see Mommy come in with Mr. Blake, you're gonna call him... Daddy, but he's just my pretend daddy, but we won't tell him that because it's a surprise. Welcome home, honey. This... this dump is my house? Babe, it's just a little messy, that's all. There's toys everywhere. And what is that smell? Oh, that would be the dirty diapers. Uh, yeah, you know what? Would you mind just taking out this trash? I really don't remember having any... Daddy! Uh, hi, kid. <laughs> my name's Kitty Silly, and that's Daisy. I'm assuming your mom picked the names. Mommy said that was my other daddy that left us. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> you know, kids, they just say the darnest things. <laughs> Anyways, babe, uh, where's your wallet? Girl, this is crazy! I know, and he gave his doctor's permission to give me all his information. I also got this. His credit card! You can pay off your bills and give him a taste of his own medicine. He's about to learn what hard work really is. Good morning, how did you sleep? Not the best. Remind me again why I have to sleep on the couch? I told you, it's because you have a horrible snoring problem. Ugh, it keeps me up all night. Anyways, you should really get ready for work. What's my job? You are a garbage man. I am? Yes, you are. Now go get ready for work, and I'm going to go make breakfast, okay? Honey, I'm home. Daddy, are those toys? They sure are. I got your favorite animal. A tiger. Mommy, he, he remembered. And for your sister, a bunny. And for your mother, flowers. Babe, these are my favorite. How, how did you know? A memory came to me of you picking some for me. Mr. Blake, I picked these for you. They're my favorites. Everything's still pretty fuzzy. Peekaboo! <laughs> she has your smile. I have a question. Yes? If we had two kids together and we're in love, then why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Why aren't we married? Well, you just haven't asked me yet. Well, I think now I want to.
He wants to marry you? Jenny, this is amazing. Why don't you look happy? Because I am living in a fantasy. I used his money to get me out of debt. I have to tell him the truth. Besides, the doctor said his MRI checked out fine, so it's only a matter of time before he... Remembers everything? Honey, you're supposed to be at work. Cut the crap, Jenny. My memory is back. I don't ever want to see you again. Jason, I... You're lucky I'm not pressing charges. I'm sorry, I should have never... <clears throat> Mommy, where's daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but... But it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> daddy! Jason? I knew you'd come back. Where's daddy? He wasn't your real dad. Pretend time is over. No, no, he was real. He, he told me that, that he loved me. He told me that too, but... But it wasn't true. Actually, it was. <gasps> Daddy! Jason, I knew you'd come back. Jenny, these past few weeks with you and your kids made me understand there's more to life than just money. It turns out the person who brought me the most joy was right in front of me all along. I just didn't realize it. When I said I wanted to marry you, I meant it. I bought this for you last night. He wants to marry you, Mommy. Now we can be a real family. Anything I touch turns to money, or any doll I touch comes to life. I'm too little to have money, and I don't have any friends in foster care, so I pick this one. I pick this Barbie to come to life. Whoa. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. Are you gonna be my friend? Of course, I can be anything you want me to be. You can brush my hair and take me anywhere. Cool. You can also customize me using this remote. I want to give you brown eyes like me. Oh, Claire, who are you talking to? Uh-oh, who's that? That's another foster girl that lives here, and she's really mean to dolls. We have to hide you. Come on. Claire, who are you talking to? Nobody. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. What the? Barbie, I told you to hide. Sorry, Claire. I just love making new friends. Does this control her? Hey, give that back. Ugh, just let me see it. Stop! You're gonna break her! Ugh, you're so annoying. This is why no one wants to adopt you. I don't want your dumb remote anyways. You killed her! <laughs> Have fun with your dead Barbie. Barbie, please wake up. Hola! Soy Barbie. ¿Cómo estás? Uh-oh, I think she reset you onto Spanish mode. That is mi mejor amiga. Barbie, I can't understand you. What am I gonna do? Barbie, I can use my powers to bring Ken to life to help us. I hope you know how to bring Barbie off of Spanish mode. Hey, Barbie. Hola, Ken. Why is she speaking Spanish? That's why I brought you here, Ken. I don't know how to make her speak English. Can I see her remote? Sure. That should do it. Hey, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Want to go for a drive? Sure, Ken. Activate the Barbie car. We cannot tell anyone that you're dolls. What do we say if they ask us? Tell them that, that you're my parents. Okay. Shh, we have to be really quiet so we can sneak out of here. Thanks for buying me this stuff, Barbie. Claire, you deserve it. Hey, you. You never paid me back my money. Claire. Claire. How dare you? Who are you guys? We are her parents. She got adopted. That's right, and one of her mother's many jobs is being a police officer. So if you don't leave right now, we're going to have you arrested. No, no, sorry, forget about the money. Bye! Claire, are you okay? My arm got a little cut. Press the top button on the remote. Okay. Dr. Barbie is here to help. You're so strong, Claire. You should be feeling much better now. Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well... I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Claire, we... I understand if you don't want to because I know I'm not that great. What? Why would you think that? Because I'm not as smart or as cute as the other kids. I think that's why nobody wants to adopt me. Oh, Claire. Don't think like that. You're so smart. And you're super cute. 
Do you really think so? Claire, you can do anything you put your mind to, and anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about. We would be honored to be your parents because you're such a good girl. Right, Ken? That's right, Barbie. Really? Yeah, being a dad sounds fun. Guys, I forgot I had this in my pocket. My puppy. Since we're a family now, do we want to have a pet? Absolutely. Oh. This is going to be so much fun. I'll start looking for Barbie houses for us to live in. I'm so happy for us. We're going to be a great family. Yeah, Barbie and Ken finally together at last. Ugh. Ow, my head. Barbie, Ken, what's wrong? Ugh, my head. Barbie, Ken, what's wrong? I, I don't know. All of a sudden, we just feel really strange. My powers, they're running out. Oh no. All of you are going to turn back into dolls. How much time do we have left? One minute. Please don't leave me. Claire, we'll never leave you. We might not be able to be your parents, but we'll always be your dolls. Yes, and you're going to get adopted. Do you promise? We promise. I'm going to miss you so much. We'll still be together. You can take us wherever you go. Barbie, our eyes. They're melting. You guys are crying. Oh, the time's up. You guys are going to... We love you. See you on the other side. If it isn't the little tattletale, where are your parents now, huh? They're right... They're at home. So you better not try anything or I'm going to tell on you. No, no, I was just wondering. <laughs> I was looking for you all day. I'm sorry, I was just... I didn't want to hear it. You're lucky someone wants to adopt you. What? I'm getting adopted? Yes, finally. You guys were right. What? Who was right? Nothing. Meet your new parents. Hi. Hey. Can I bring my dolls? Oh, honey, of course. We'll consider them a part of our family. Anything I touch turns to money, or any doll I touch comes to life. I'm too little to have money, and I don't have any friends in foster care, so I pick this one. I pick this Barbie to come to life. Whoa. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. Are you going to be my friend? Of course, I can be anything you want me to be. You can brush my hair and take me anywhere. Cool. You can also customize me using this remote. I want to give you brown eyes like me. Eau Claire, who are you talking to? Uh-oh, who's that? That's another foster girl that lives here, and she's really mean to dolls. We have to hide you. Come on. Claire, who are you talking to? Nobody. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. What the... Barbie, I told you to hide. Sorry, Claire. I just love making new friends. Does this control her? Hey, give that back. Ugh, just let me see it. Stop! You're gonna break her! Ugh, you're so annoying. This is why no one wants to adopt you. I don't want your dumb remote anyways. You killed her! <laughs> Have fun with your dead Barbie. Barbie, please wake up. Hola! Soy Barbie. ¿Cómo estás? Uh-oh, I think she reset you onto Spanish mode. That is mi mejor amiga. Barbie, I can't understand you. What am I gonna do? Barbie, I can use my powers to bring Ken to life to help us. I hope you know how to bring Barbie off of Spanish mode. Hey, Barbie. Hola, Ken. Why is she speaking Spanish? That's why I brought you here, Ken. I don't know how to make her speak English. Can I see her remote? Sure. That should do it. Hey, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Want to go for a drive? Sure, Ken. Activate the Barbie car. We cannot tell anyone that you're dolls. What do we say if they ask us? Tell them that, that you're my parents. Okay. Shh, we have to be really quiet so we can sneak out of here. Thanks for buying me this stuff, Barbie. Claire, you deserve it. Hey, you. You never paid me back my money. Claire. Claire. How dare you? Who are you guys? We are her parents. She got adopted. That's right, and one of her mother's many jobs is being a police officer. So if you don't leave right now, we're going to have you arrested. No, no, sorry, forget about the money. Bye! Claire! Are you okay? My arm got a little cut. Press the top button on the remote. Okay. Dr. Barbie is here to help. You're so strong, Claire. You should be feeling much better now. Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well... I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Barbie, Ken, 
You said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Claire, we... I understand if you don't want to because I know I'm not that great. What? Why would you think that? Because I'm not as smart or as cute as the other kids. I think that's why nobody wants to adopt me. Oh, Claire. Don't think like that. You're so smart. And you're super cute. Do you really think so? Claire, you can do anything you put your mind to. And anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about. We would be honored to be your parents because you're such a good girl. Right, Ken? That's right, Barbie. Really? Yeah. Being a dad sounds fun. Guys, I forgot I had this in my pocket. My puppy. Since we're a family now, do we want to have a pet? Absolutely. Oh. This is going to be so much fun. I'll start looking for Barbie houses for us to live in. I'm so happy for us. We're going to be a great family. Yeah. Barbie and Ken, finally together at last. Ugh. Ow, my head. Barbie? Ken, what's wrong? Ugh, my head. Barbie? Ken, what's wrong? I... I don't know. All of a sudden, we just feel really strange. My powers, they're running out. Oh no. All of you are going to turn back into dolls. How much time do we have left? One minute. Please don't leave me. Claire, we'll never leave you. We might not be able to be your parents, but we'll always be your dolls. Yes, and you're going to get adopted. Do you promise? We promise. I'm going to miss you so much. We'll still be together. You can take us wherever you go. Barbie, our eyes. They're melting. You guys are crying. Oh, the time's up. You guys are gonna... We love you. See you on the other side. If it isn't the little tattletale, where are your parents now, huh? They're right... They're at home. So you better not try anything or I'm gonna tell on you. No, no, I was just wondering. <laughs> I was looking for you all day. I'm sorry, I was just... I didn't want to hear it. You're lucky someone wants to adopt you. What? I'm getting adopted? Yes, finally. You guys were right. What? Who was right? Nothing. Meet your new parents. Hi. Hey. Can I bring my dolls? Oh, honey, of course. We'll consider them a part of our family. Anything I touch turns to money, or any doll I touch comes to life. I'm too little to have money, and I don't have any friends in foster care, so I pick this one. I pick this Barbie to come to life. Whoa. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. Are you going to be my friend? Of course, I can be anything you want me to be. You can brush my hair and take me anywhere. Cool. You can also customize me using this remote. I want to give you brown eyes like me. Oh, Claire, who are you talking to? Uh-oh, who's that? That's another foster girl that lives here, and she's really mean to dolls. We have to hide you. Come on. Claire, who are you talking to? Nobody. Hi, I'm Come Alive Barbie. What the? Barbie, I told you to hide. Sorry, Claire. I just love making new friends. Does this control her? Hey, give that back. Uh, just let me see it. Stop, you're going to break her. Ugh, you're so annoying. This is why no one wants to adopt you. I don't want your dumb remote anyways. You killed her. <laughs> Have fun with your dead Barbie. Barbie, please wake up. Hola. Soy Barbie. ¿Cómo estás? Uh-oh, I think she reset you onto Spanish mode. That is mi mejor amiga. Barbie, I can't understand you. What am I gonna do? Barbie, I can use my powers to bring Ken to life to help us. I hope you know how to bring Barbie off of Spanish mode. Hey, Barbie. Hola, Ken. Why is she speaking Spanish? That's why I brought you here, Ken. I don't know how to make her speak English. Can I see her remote? Sure. That should do it. Hey, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Want to go for a drive? Sure, Ken. Activate the Barbie car. We cannot tell anyone that you're dolls. What do we say if they ask us? Tell them that, that you're my parents. Okay. Shh, we have to be really quiet so we can sneak out of here. Thanks for buying me this stuff, Barbie. Claire, you deserve it. Hey, you. You never paid me back my money. Claire. Claire! How dare you? Who are you guys? We are her parents. She got adopted? 
That's right. And one of her mother's many jobs is being a police officer. So if you don't leave right now, we're going to have you arrested. No, no. Sorry. Forget about the money. Bye. Claire. Are you okay? My arm got a little cut. Press the top button on the remote. Okay. Dr. Barbie is here to help. You're so strong, Claire. You should be feeling much better now. Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Barbie, Ken, you said that you can be anything, right? Yeah. That's right. Well, I want you to be my real mommy and daddy. You want us to adopt you? Yeah. Can you do that? Claire, we... I understand if you don't want to because I know I'm not that great. What? Why would you think that? Because I'm not as smart or as cute as the other kids. I think that's why nobody wants to adopt me. Oh, Claire. Don't think like that. You're so smart. And you're super cute. Do you really think so? Claire, you can do anything you put your mind to. And anyone who tells you otherwise doesn't know what they're talking about. We would be honored to be your parents because you're such a good girl. Right, Ken? That's right, Barbie. Really? Yeah. Being a dad sounds fun. Guys, I forgot I had this in my pocket. My puppy. Since we're a family now, do we want to have a pet? Absolutely. Oh. This is going to be so much fun. I'll start looking for Barbie houses for us to live in. I'm so happy for us. We're going to be a great family. Yeah. Barbie and Ken, finally together at last. Ugh. Ow, my head. Barbie? Ken, what's wrong? Ugh, my head. Barbie? Ken, what's wrong? I... I don't know. All of a sudden, we just feel really strange. My powers, they're running out. Oh no. All of you are going to turn back into dolls. How much time do we have left? One minute. Please don't leave me. Claire, we'll never leave you. We might not be able to be your parents, but we'll always be your dolls. Yes, and you're going to get adopted. Do you promise? We promise. I'm going to miss you so much. We'll still be together. You can take us wherever you go. Barbie, our eyes. They're melting. You guys are crying. Oh, the time's up. You guys are going to... We love you. See you on the other side. If it isn't the little tattletale, where are your parents now, huh? They're right... They're at home. So you better not try anything or I'm going to tell on you. No, no. I was just wondering. <laughs> I was looking for you all day. I'm sorry, I was just... I didn't want to hear it. You're lucky someone wants to adopt you. What? I'm getting adopted? Yes, finally. You guys were right. What? Who was right? Nothing. Meet your new parents. Hi. Hey. Can I bring my dolls? Oh, honey, of course. We'll consider them a part of our family. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aw, I win. Since you won, I, I picked these flowers for you. Prince Daniel, do you see that above your head, too? Uh-huh. You have to get people to kiss you. Oh. How about I kiss you? But if we're soulmates, your score will... It will go up high. Okay. Yes. <gasps> Stop! You're forbidden to see Prince Daniel again. No. Go to your room. Stepmother, please let me go help the village people. I won't talk to any boys, and I promise I'll only be gone for a few hours. No. What if some stranger tries to kiss you and your score goes up? Why don't you want my kiss score to go up? Yours is already at 50. They say if you kiss your soulmate, your score goes up really high. Is that why yours is so high? No. Soulmates are a lie. I just have a way with men. But you're staying in your room. I told the village people that I was going to help them out today, and I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you, princess. We appreciate your help. Oh, it was my pleasure, really. Look, her score is going up. Hey, Princess Sydney? It's me, Prince I, Daniel. I have to go. Wait. I haven't seen you in forever. I'm forbidden to talk to you, remember? Oh, come on. You know you still owe me- Princess, there you are. How did your score go up? Who kissed you? It was two women from the village. They were both so grateful for my help that they each kissed one of my hands. We also caught her talking to Prince Daniel. I'm so sorry. He started talking to me and... Silence. You were forbidden to see him. We'll discuss your punishment later. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes, and don't come back until the job is done. So you're allowing me to go out in the village today? Are you sure you're not still mad? All is forgiven. Thank you. 
My best god will be with you for protection. Come along, princess. Oh, sweetheart, don't cry. I picked this flower earlier. Would you like to have it? Yes, please. You don't know how much that means to her. Allow me to repay you for your kindness. Oh, you really don't. <coughs> Everyone, let's all kiss the princess's hand so we can raise her score. Yeah! Good job, everyone. She's almost about to beat the evil queen's score. Today was an eventful day, huh? I just hope that stepmother doesn't mind that my kiss score is almost as high as hers. After tonight, I don't think she'll mind. Let's get you back home. We're almost there. No, stop. You keep saying that, and I don't remember the weight of the castle being this way. <sighs> well, princess, that's because it's not. No. I'm sorry, princess. Why are you doing this? The Queen believes you are a threat to her kiss score. She ordered me to get rid of you. I don't want to kill you, but if I don't, she'll kill me. Close your eyes. Oh. Stay back. Daniel. Run. Run and don't come back. Hello? Is anyone home? Hello? Please help me, the Queen. She was trying to kill- Whoa, whoa, sweetheart. It's all right. Come on, let's get you inside. Thank you for letting me stay here. Your dog is so sweet. Of course, it's our pleasure, dear. Good night, sweetheart. Come here. Princess, I'm taking the dog out for a walk. Don't answer the door to anyone. Okay. I, love you, I know the song. That's the song that Mother used to sing to me. Mom? Oh, Sydney. Yes, it's me. No, that's impossible. You died when I was four. The ones we love are never gone. I've come to give you a kiss. You only need one more kiss to beat the Evil Queen's score. How do you know that? Because, my daughter, I'm magic. That's how I came back to life. Now let me give you a kiss. I... I don't know if I believe you. How about I give you a little demonstration? You see, dear? Magic. It's really me, your mom. I've missed you so much. Once I give you this magical kiss, we'll be together forever. <laughs> mom, I don't feel very good. Well, that's because... You've been tricked. <laughs> Stepmother? Hello, Sydney. I've just given you the kiss of death. You'll be dead in a few minutes. <laughs> oh, princess, I found a prince who was looking for... You. No, Sydney. The queen must have done this to her. Daniel, I... I love... No, hey, stay with me. Sydney. Sydney! No, please. Please, no. Sydney, wake up. I'm so sorry, dear. This wasn't supposed to happen. Remember, you... You still owe me that kiss. Wait, true love's kiss? She's waking up. Look at her score. Oh, you two must be soulmates. I knew it. The evil queen has gone too far this time. You have to take back your kingdom. You're right. She's finally... Not so fast. What? Surprise. You're probably wishing you would have tried to kill me too now. Why, you, Sydney, get away from him. You don't make the rules anymore, stepmother. I do. And you're hereby dethroned. <laughs> you wouldn't dare hurt me with that sword. Try me and see what happens. <gasps> Guards? No, you fools. Get off of me. Finally, we have a good queen. Please, don't be anything too bad. That's an embarrassing curse. Don't you hate singing? Stop! <laughs> don't talk to me. Loser, lame old wannabe. What the? <laughs> wow, sissy, I feel sorry for you. Uh... Hey, girly, I'm new to this school. Just wanted to introduce myself. But I heard about your curse. I'm so sorry. I've got a bad feeling about you. What the actual freak was that? <laughs> <laughs> Remind me not to sit next to her at lunch. So, are you down to be official? Like, boyfriend and girlfriend? I think I like this little life. What the heck? You just ruined the moment. This was serious. I'm out of here. Baby, come back. Aw, oh, look, it's the girl who got cursed to sing. Why you gotta be so rude? Maybe try some auto-tune. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hard knock life. Hi, Chloe. I mean, oh my god. Uh, what's it? Claire. Hi, Claire. Say my name, say my name. Sorry, honey, my mind is everywhere, but you're about to get a new curse. I hope you can stop singing. Don't bring me down. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh-oh. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh-oh. Okay, your makeup's done. I told you I could do it. Oh, I forgot to brush your teeth. Chloe, come help your sister brush her teeth, please. Mom, no, I think I'd rather die. <laughs> Mom said, come on. Hurry up. Also, you're gonna get dress coded for that top. 
No, I'm not. Mom already talked to the teachers. This was the only top she could get on me without me moving my arms. Oh, Mom told me also someone's going to be helping you do everything today. Whatever. Can you just brush my teeth already? <laughs> okay, sissy. Smile. Here comes the toothbrush. Mom said your crush is going to be the one helping you today. What? Hey, nice to meet you. My name's Drake. I'm going to be the one helping you take your test today. The teacher said you just tell me what answer you want me to write and I'll write it for you. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Okay, and for the last multiple choice question? C? It's actually B, but hey, I won't tell anybody. Pretty sure you're gonna get an A on this. Look, it's the girl who can't move her <laughs> arms. Guys, come on, grab her. What the heck? Let go of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't funny, guys. Let me out. Just open the door. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> Later, loser. Hello, anyone? Hey, Claire, are you in there? Yes, Drake, it's me. I'm in here. Okay, I'm coming in. I can't believe they locked you in the janitor's closet. I know, but that's high school mean girls for you, I guess. Yeah, don't let them get to you. Let me help you have some food, and then I can drive you home. Okay. Hey, sissy, you can move your arms now. Yeah, finally. I'm still waiting for my next curse to load. Are you gonna tell Drake that you like him? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm finally just gonna tell him that I like... That you what? Uh-oh. Oh no, your curse, it, it says you can't speak. Sorry, sissy. You're putting nuts in Drake's food, but he's allergic. I know, it's what he gets for ignoring me and paying attention to that random girl yesterday. Hey you, I was just about to eat my lunch. Do you want some? Oh! Why would you do that? I was saving you, Ashley. Put nuts in your food, Drake. What the hell, Ashley? Is that true? Drakey, no. I would literally never do that. Really? Then why do I see peanut shavings on the side of your bag? Uh... Liar. You can't prove anything. So, looks like we both kind of saved each other this week. <laughs> that was nice. I just wish there was a way we could end these curses, you know? Me too. Hey! My, my curse, curse is, is broken! broken. <laughs> See how much mommy and daddy love me, or see how much are in their bank account? I already know mommy and daddy love me, so let's see how much money they have. <gasps> wow, they have a billion dollars? I must be getting a lot of Christmas presents this year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Thank you! What else did you get me? That's it, Pumpkin. We didn't get you anything else. Mommy and daddy are very poor. But I see that you have a lot of money. Uh, there must have been a mistake. Don't sound spoiled. Be grateful. So, guys, any chance I'm gonna get a phone for my birthday? <laughs> oh, poor thing. No, you're too young. Yeah, I figured you were gonna say that. But when do you think I will be old enough to have a phone? You'll get next one next year. Next year, you literally say that every year. No, we don't. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connor's baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. That can't be me. I'm just being delusional. We should give her back now. The reward is $1 million. But how do we get the reward money for her without them knowing we took her in the first place? Shh, let's talk about it over here. The number on the TV. They said to call it if... If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. I need a phone. I'll have to take mom and dad's. No, I just gotta call this number. No, I just gotta call this number. Oh, what the hell was that? <gasps> you want to tell us why you were in our room? And why my phone is cracked? I, um, I didn't think you guys saw me. I was just, um... What is this? She knows we're not her parents. She was trying to call the number on the news, huh? Well, you know what? It's about time she found out. Surprised it took her this long. I mean, how could she never question how we all have different hair and eyes and why we never let her on social media? I mean, come on. You two are sick and I'm leaving. No, you're not. Now turn. We gotta make you look pretty for your billionaire mommy and daddy. They'll be so happy. And the final touch, a little bow. Oh, babe, isn't she so cute? Your birth parents are offering a big reward for you, so you better not mess this up. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Now, get into that box, and no talking. 
Richard, what in heavens did you order? This box is not from... me. What is going on? Read the note. It'll explain everything. Your prayers have been answered. Here is your biological daughter. We have to send the one million dollar reward to this number or you die? Yes, so please just wire it to them right now and I'm so sorry about all of this. Darling, this doesn't sound right. I think we ought to just call the police. Yes, darling, I agree. No, please, no, police. I, I can prove to you that I'm your real daughter. I know how much is in your bank accounts. It's two billion, exactly. How do you know that? Because I picked to see how much money were in my parents' bank account. It says if we don't send it, she will die. What if she is our daughter? Can you please just send them the money? No, I have to call the police. I'm not sending anyone money. I have to call the police. Wait! No! We have to get her to a hospital. Doctor, is she going to be okay? Ma'am, we can't have you in here. Mr. and Mrs. Connors, we have some good news. She's going to be okay, and we did the blood test as you requested, and it does look like she is your biological daughter. Richard, did you hear that? I can't believe it. Hi, darling. Don't worry. Everything is all right. Those horrible people have been put in prison. What's going to happen to me now? We're going to take care of you, love. You are? Yes, we, um, we found out you're actually our daughter. I knew it. We never stopped looking for you. Your father and I missed you so much. We love you. Hey, what's the matter? No one's ever told me that before. Well, we'll be telling you that every day, love. Now you get some rest, and we'll be here when you wake up. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from, or what decade I eat from. Us. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time... Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Us. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Us. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Us. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Us. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Us. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. 
Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. Oh. You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. Oh. You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. Oh. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. Oh. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. Oh. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. Oh. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. 
The year 3000. Oh no, my soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie, did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. I mean, off. You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie, did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie, did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Plus, honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie, did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. 
What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Us. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. I mean, off. You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Us. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove you gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. Us. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, off. You may not. Remove outfit. You gotta outfit. be kidding. What in the mean girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time. Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? What? No, that could take forever. And all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh, no. Grandma, what is that above my head? Those are all your childhood memories, dear, and it looks like you've already made quite a lot of them. Well, that's good, because I want to remember all the fun things I did with you. Oh, Annalise, you are so sweet. There is a fire in the castle. We need to get you both out now. Grandma, I'm scared. I don't want to lose you like I lost my parents. Don't worry, dear. We'll be all right. My queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing. No! You left your clothes on the floor. Sorry, I just... They pay me to foster you, not to be your maid. Didn't anyone ever teach you to clean up after yourself? Well, you know, even if someone did, I really wouldn't have remembered because I lost all my childhood memories. Yeah, yeah, enough with your sob story. Just clean up. Excuse me, sir. Do you know why there's a bunch of flowers everywhere? Oh, yeah, those are for the princess. Everyone leaves those for her. Today marks the fifth year of her passing. It's awful what happened to her. Hey, are you okay? I think I just had a memory of me being a princess. Sorry, I know that sounds crazy. A princess? Wait, did something happen to your memories? Yeah, actually, when I was younger, some sort of accident happened to me. I don't remember what, but the doctor told me that I have amnesia. Some people still think the princess is still alive. They do? Yeah, and actually, I'm one of those people. You know, I could take you to the queen if you really think you're the princess. No, that's okay. Uh, I really should be going. At least take my number. If any more of your memories come back, call me. I can't believe that guy thought that I was a princess. What oh, queen, watch out! The ceiling is collapsing! No, no, no! Grandma? She left me. My head. Hey, I got your voicemail. You got another memory? I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. I think that I am the princess, and I need your help to take me back to the queen. The thing is, they won't just let anyone into the castle. We have to convince them that you're royalty. But how would I do that? I have an idea. Come on, we're going shopping. Are you sure this outfit isn't too much? No, I think it's perfect. It shows the queen that you know how to dress like a princess. If you say so. Wait here. The queen will see you in just a moment. Hey, it's gonna be alright. She'll remember you. Grandma, I thought I'd never- See me again. I've heard it all before. Tell me something that only my Annalise would know. Well, I can't exactly do that because a lot of my memories got lost, but I remember you. Stop. My heart can't take this anymore. She's just another girl pretending to be my granddaughter. Take her away. No, please. I came all this way to see you. I'm sure I can remember something. Let's go. <laughs> A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait.
A carousel music box. It was blue. You gave it to me. Wait. Let her go. I need to get something to show her. This was one of the few things that survived the fire. I had it restored. I bought it as a gift for my granddaughter. You couldn't have known about that unless... It's me, Grandma. Oh, Annalise, it is you. I recognize your eyes. I'm so sorry. I begged the gods to go look for you. It's okay. How are you alive? What happened? I can barely remember. Sweetheart, can you remember anything about what happened to you? What your name is? What your parents' names are? I don't remember anything. We have a code red. So you survived the fire and woke up in a hospital with amnesia. I am so sorry, but what's important is we're together now. Grandma, I actually wouldn't have been able to find you if it wasn't for him. Oh, really? What is your name? My name is Eric, Your Majesty. I can't thank you enough, Eric. Why aren't you a handsome young man? Ah, uh, thanks. It is my honor to restore my granddaughter's title of Princess Annalise. Long live the princess.